Okay, here is the last video, uh, at least for now, of this series. Um, it takes the Missile Command game and adds a, kind of a basic leveling system. So let me show you what that looks like. Pull that down. I've got my splash screen. So you see over here, I've got the level one. So basically, level one, it sends one missile after me. So level one's very not challenging. Oh, I think I'm going to miss that. Oh, got it. Okay, so basically the score just went up by quite a bit. I get some bonus points for each city that remains. Uh, I think points for each missile. I forget exactly. So you can see now I'm on level two, and that means I've got two enemy missiles coming my way. And so you, know, you want to be sparing with your missiles because you get extra points for each missile that you still have remaining. So you can see, you know, each time through, oops, I missed. So you see each time through, it resets and sends more missiles your way. And then it goes all the way up to, if you can make it that far up to where there are, I think, what, 30 enemy missiles? And the game never really ends. Um, yeah, I didn't really program that into it. There's no real goal except to survive. And see how high you can get your score. Eventually there will be an error at some point if you, know, you lose all your cities. We could program for that, but I think uh, as far as this tutorial is concerned, I think, yeah, we've seen enough. Uh, you get the basic ideas. So let's uh, close that and walk through real quick the basic leveling system. So, you know, of course we need to keep track of the level. Um, so that was already done in a previous lesson. Self.level equals one. So we're starting out at level one. And what I did with this I don't know if it was the best method now that I think about it, but it works, so we'll stick with it. Um, so I've made empty uh, lists for cities and silos. Uh, we got player missiles, and enemy missiles, and I've also added this new list called player missile storage and enemy missile storage. So those will be the missiles that we're not really using uh, at this point. And so again, just like we did before, we append all the cities append all the silos, um, I append all the player missiles, and so for each player missile in player missile storage, I append that also to player missiles. And I'm not 100 sure why I did that now, but uh, maybe we'll come back to me as we're, we're watching this. And then, this is probably where it's more useful, uh, for the enemy missile storage. Okay, so we append 30 missiles at the beginning. So what this tells us is that there, there are 30 set aside missiles for the enemy to use. Now in level one, I only want to use one of those missiles. Okay. So that's what this thing actually does. So for enemy missile in enemy missile storage, if the length of enemy missiles, so go through all 30, so if the length of enemy missiles is less than the game level, okay, so if in enemy missiles, if there are zero missiles, okay, let's say zero is less than one, then I append that missile. I set the target to a random choice between cities and silos, and that, that works. Um, Python's pretty amazing. So my list of cities, my list of silos. And then I append that enemy missile from the storage into my enemy missiles list. Okay, so now on the first level, it's only gonna give me one, one, one missile. Okay, because as soon as I add this, the length of this is now one, so one is not less than one. It just kind of rolls through and finishes up real quick. Okay, so all of this is the same; nothing changes here, except for this section is what's being added here. Okay, so it kind of is quite a lot actually. But um, so basically, what we're going to see now, each time through the main loop, we're going to check. So is the length of any enemy missiles less than one? So what that means is we've destroyed all the enemy missiles. Uh, and then if so, so we calculate our city bonus. That's 100 points times the length of the cities. Calculate our silo bonus. That's 50 points times the length of the silos. And our missile bonus, which is 10 points, times the length of the missiles that I have left. So then I increase the game score by the bonus plus bonus plus bonus. Print that out. Print it. I didn't really need to print it since I'm going to be, I just, it prints out down here, this is probably for testing purposes, um, but it would, it's going to actually go, you know, in the, 
label later. So then I add one to the to the level. So now I'm on level two. Now I got to reset the enemy missiles. So for enemy missile in enemy missile storage, um, if the same thing, if the length of enemy missiles is less than the game level, set it to a random target. Okay, and enemy missiles append. Uh, reset the player missiles. So for every player missile, just destroy it. Destroy just moves it off the screen, hides it. Reset the list of player missiles. I could have used clear here as well. For every player missile in player missile storage, uh, that's why I did it. Okay, append the player missile. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but th th this does work. And this is the exact same thing we had earlier. Okay, so for each missile, clear it, go to the x-coordinate, set the state to ready, set the shape size to 0 0.2, because if it had exploded or, you know, that changes all the sizes, this just resets everything. And I could, should have, could have and should have made this into a method of some sort. Um, it probably would if I continue to work on it. And then I clear it, that clears, again, that makes sure just everything is off the screen. Uh, so I didn't accidentally leave any, you know, drawings on the screen. Then I update the label with all of that information. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so you might want to, again, uh, pause this, type it in, or like I said I'll have the code up on my, uh, my uh, website here sooner rather than later. Or actually, no, it's, I think it's also on my, uh, it might also be on my GitHub. So anyway, uh, at least the finished product is. So anyway, I hope that is helpful to somebody. Um, I know it was a, a little bit quick, uh, but and I probably missed a few details here and there. But uh, yeah, it should kind of point you in the right direction. You know, if you're ready for this level of tutorial, um, it's probably a good learning exercise to, to sit through and hopefully you know, maybe sort some of the issues out yourself. If you have any questions, please do you know, feel free to message me. I'm happy to take a look, uh, but be specific and share the code because I can't do anything without seeing the code. Okay, take care.